Hey guys, what's up? DEV here, and I have some good news and bad news. Good news is KOTOR 2 is getting an update. If you don't know what KOTOR 2 is, I feel really bad for you. Where were you 10 years ago when this amazing game came out? It's not as amazing as the first one, but let me just break it down for you. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords is the sequel to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. If you don't know what that game is either, I, I really don't know what to tell you. It's an amazing game. You really should play. It's all story for me, and it's all Star Wars. Two of the greatest things I love in video games. Star Wars and story make a pretty good match. But yeah, KOTOR 2 is getting an official, official update from Disney Interactive. So that's super official. So that's the good news, right? That's the very, very good news. Here's the bad news. A lot of people, new Star Wars fans, recent Star Wars fans, have not heard of KOTOR. Or, you know, don't know what that is, never played it. Which is very sad, depressing, almost make me want to scream at them news. Which is very bad. You should really jump into KOTOR. Um, it's now available for Steam, Linux, and Mac. Well, KOTOR 2 is not sure about KOTOR 1. I'll, I'll look at that and put it down in the description below. But it's on Steam, and they're very cheap. Back then, it was like, what, 40 bucks? Now it's under 20, I believe. I think they're in sale right now because it's summer, Steam summer sale, blah, blah, blah. But uh, KOTOR 2, bought it for the original Xbox. Did not regret this buy at all. I sold five of uh, this is at GameStop. So I sold five of my games for this game, and I absolutely love it. And for people that don't know what KOTOR 1 looks like or what it is, this is it. This is KOTOR. This is my baby. My number one game I would recommend anyone to play if they're interested in story, Star Wars, role playing. It's just, oh my god. Even the side stories are very deep. Like, holy crap. And then there's, you know, a plot twist here and there. And yeah, it's a really good game. So that's the bad news. Uh, the good news, it's from Disney Interactive. It's super official. But through this, also brings up some questions. And those questions being, since it's from Disney Interactive, Disney approved this update, this patch, does this mean it's canon now? Is KOTOR canon? Maybe KOTOR 2 is just canon? Because I can see that Mitra being in Swotor, that is canon. Revan's background is canon. But here's the thing is Kotor 1 canon. Is Basila canon? Is Karth canon? Is Mission canon? Is Kandorus canon? Is all this canon? Which is something I really do hope it is canon. Because then that could mean, I don't know, TV shows? More games? Hopefully more games. More books? Which right now I'm reading Revan's book. It's fucking awesome. I have it in the Google Play Store. It was on sale, I think, for like five bucks, under five bucks, I think. And it's fucking awesome. I really do recommend this read. It's just more backstory for Revan, and it just sets up, uh, what's it called? It sets up Swotor more. It, uh, it makes you understand it way more. And let me just take this off. So yeah, here is the book if you haven't read it. Let me just dim it down a bit. Sorry, unprofessional like that. Now it's too dim. Oh, what the hell is wrong with me? There you go. It is Star Wars Revan, the Old Republic. It's just more backstory of Revan. How shows how badass he is, how powerful he is, what he did right after Kotor one, uh, what happened to Mitra and Kotor two, and just to set up the events for uh, Swotor. So, I hopefully, hopefully it is canon. Hopefully, because it means more games, more toys. I need a Revan toy so bad. I need that so bad. There was a poll on Star Wars Rebels about the six inch figures, and I voted for Revan because they wanted me to vote for. I, I don't know what, what it was from Star Wars Rebels, one of their characters, but I wanted Revan so bad. And I look at the poll, majority was for Revan. And a lot of people agree with me. Revan is the way to go, it's the way to bring new fans to. Uh, it's a way to bring old fans and new fans together and show hey Star Wars is way more than just the movies and the TV show there's also the expanding universe which a lot of people haven't heard of like oh okay Revan a lot of people haven't heard of Revan Darth Bane 
most people heard of Darth Bane now because uh, he's in the Star Wars Clone Wars, but more characters like that in the expanding universe that explains why Star Wars is Star Wars, why the Sith always use the rule of two, yeah, the rule of two instead of having a whole crap load of Sith. That's just just let's, let's watch Darth Bane. Darth Bane gets his influence to make the rule of two from Darth Revan and Darth Malak. That's just more story and culture that you need to understand to appreciate Star Wars what it is now. Why why does Sidious just take Darth Vader as his main apprentice? Why can't he get more to defeat the rebels? Because sooner or later, if you played another good Star Wars game, it's uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. That has a great expanded universe between uh, new, uh, Episode 3 and New Hope. There's a lot of space when Luke grows up. There's a lot of things that could happen between that whole time frame. And what's one of the stories, one of the popular stories now? Darth Vader gets an apprentice. Spoiler alert. Uh, oh, I already said too much. But spoiler alert. Uh, Vader gets his apprentice and trains him in the ways of the dark side. So he could take over and defeat Sidious. So he could rule the Empire himself with his new apprentice. And then shit happens, and yeah, it's just, wow, it's a great story. Episode 2, or um, Force Unleashed 2, was okay. It's just got a little bit out of hand with the, you just have to play the game. But yeah, it's pretty good. So, my final thought is, I think it is official. I think Kotor 3 is coming due to this update and patch. They want people hype to play Kotor 2. Which they should really do some updated patches for KOTOR 1, if anything. There's more love for 1 than 2. Don't get me wrong, 2 has better gameplay, better mechanics, a little bit better graphics, um, story, it's a little bit more deep, a little bit more, but not as deep as the first one. It's just, with, mm, it's hard to explain, because you really have to play this game, there's a lot of story, a lot of backstory with Revan than anything else, which is your main character you're mostly focused on. When KOTOR 2 was announced, I was like, I get to play Revan again. I get to see what happened after KOTOR 1. Because there was still stuff going on with the Sith. They were still taking over the universe. You just defeated Malak, though. But you still had to defeat the rest of them. But what else is there to gain? Because you know there's a greater evil out there if you read the books and the backstory. And yeah, you know why Revan turned dark side. But yeah, hopefully this is KOTOR 3. They want to do... Maybe HD remake of it or reboot something of, of the KOTOR games. I would absolutely love that if they make it available for Xbox One. If they make that for... If you make Xbox One capable of playing these two games, I will gladly get rid of my 360 and get an Xbox One. Yup. Even if, even if they don't, I'm still keeping my 360 because I could play these games on it. But, you know, those are my final thoughts. KOTOR 3 is coming. KOTOR is official storyline, it's canon now, hopefully. There's gonna be more revenue in future games, movies, books, whatever. Uh, and when I say movies, I don't mean like full length live action movies, maybe like uh, an, an animated series like Rebels and Clone Wars. Hopefully, maybe someday in the future, 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 there will be an Old Republic movie, Knights of the Old Republic movie. That would be awesome. But yeah. Those are my thoughts. Tell me what you think. Do you think Culture 3 is coming in the, in the works? Do you think it's going to happen? I think so. But if not, let me know in the description below why. Not in the description. In the comments below. Uh, I'm just so excited. I just can't talk right. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Man, it's just, I'm just so hyped. I'm like, I'm going to wear Star Wars shirts for the next month or so. This, this is one of my favorite ones. I need a Darth Revan shirt. That would be awesome. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Comments down below. And have a great day. Peace. Love ya.